right, everybody. Our next guest today on the big program is a serious band from the Northwest that, um, well, we've gotten to know quite a bit about from several of their fans. They've contacted us, and it was by overwhelming uh, demand from the folks out there that we have a interview with Platinum Spandex. And today in the studio, we have Mikey Spandex, Tommy Platinum, and the Devastating Licks. Yeah! Who these needs guys, to get my damn bottle open? These are some serious musicians, and they are uh, taking the Northwest by storm, like I said. Guys, welcome to the Northwest Convergent Zone. Good to be here. Ah, Great up. to be here. Well, That's first, let's... to say, right? Uh, That's right? Good to be here? Absolutely, yes. Cool, cool. If, as right. long as you feel that way, we appreciate that. I you said feel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, in all seriousness, Platinum Spandex, man, is a band that is just full of fun. These guys are great, and we really appreciate you guys coming in. Now, let's talk about you guys as a group. Now, you guys uh, have been together for about a year now and storming around the Northwest, and you're bringing back some old-school stuff that is... Uh, it's kind of lost these days. The hairspray bands. Tell us how you guys came to, <laughs> how you came to bring want to bring this back because a lot of people wanted to keep it shelved. And uh, what was what's the motivation of spreading the gospel of the spandex nation? Uh, well, this is mostly my brain fart. Uh, and I've been trying to convince this asshole here to be in a band with me for a long time. And one day we were in uh, Whistler and got completely screwed up. <laughs> and I said, dude, no, you want to start a band, man? And he said, yeah. And so before he could sober up, I just uh, you know, started rolling things together. Well, I do want to say that your hair is awesome. Is it all right? It's beautiful. And I'm uh, worried about these headphones. One of the questions that came in to us from our listeners was, uh, on your website, you have the Aquanet cans lined up there. And A, are, is that a sponsor? And B, how much do you actually go through before each show? Yeah. Let's just say it's flammable. Yeah. Open flame is not allowed. We don't recommend room. open. They have the whole no smoking in venues thing. It actually works out in our. It favor. works good for you guys. Yeah, no totally. great white incidences going on or yeah. anything. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully not. You know, and yeah. Yeah. And uh, seems... Aquanet hasn't sued us yet, so uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. We're hoping. Now, Tommy, you're the lead singer, and uh, you are the front man of this. Uh, this amazing train that's rolling across the country. Uh, <laughs> he didn't say train wreck. <laughs> <Sweet. laughs> and that's, uh, that's grabbing the nation by storm Crab. and uh, grabbing them by the throat and forcing the, the 80s and 90s hairspray bands back down their throats. And I'm just curious about when you were growing up, were you listening to these guys or is this like a revival? Just something that you stumbled across and said, hey, let's bring this back? Or is, are these, were these really influences for you? This is all I listened to in the 80s. This was uh, this is it. It was all '80s hair metal. Uh, I discovered uh, Judas Priest screaming for vengeance in uh, my friend's uh, Volkswagen Rabbit. He popped in the back seat. Back. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> and uh, then I, I was it. That was it, man. It was uh, it was hairspray and hair metal from uh, from then on, man. Awesome. You had a thing for Rob Halford, did you? Well, yeah, the thing for me, but we don't talk about that. All right. <laughs> I just, I, uh, hi guys. I just, I'm, I'm really, ex I'm really excited that you're here. I'm, I just am a, a huge <laughs> fan, and I just, I think words like epic, um, <laughs> words like voices of our generation just don't even apply. You guys are so much, so much larger than that. And I want to say that, Tommy, the fact that your chest hair grows in the shape of Jesus is really <laughs> only for the proof. That, that's actually, all that I needed to hear. That's I'm all hoping I to, to grow hear. chest hair one day. <laughs> I've been working on that. Now, where do you guys? Yeah, where where do you buy bag. your clothes? I mean, where do you buy? Where do you find this stuff nowadays? Because uh, I've been looking, <laughs> and maybe just in the wrong department. Because I think I'd look good like this. Did the women's section? Is, totally. Yeah. <laughs> Looks had to go to Canada for those uh, yeah these, trousers. These were uh, the ladies' section somewhere in Vancouver. Great. Yeah, yeah, Robson Street is a... That'd be the women's <laughs> zebra section. The women's zebra. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, are yeah, those zebra pants. club? Are they coming back in? I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, our guest today, Platinum Spandex. Let's listen to some of these cats. This is a tune titled Home Sweet Home. Ooh, this is live. live. I was going to say that. I knew that, though. <laughs> I just help him. It's always better when you voice double. Dreamer, but I had to run away, so I wouldn't go home, go. 
Hey, you fucked up. <laughs> Like Vince Neil before he turned into a house. All right, name of the song, Home Sweet Home, Platinum Spandex, our guest today. Now, I just want to run down for those of you who are out there who uh, aren't familiar with this type of music. Let me just Who the hell is that? Let me list some of the bands that you guys, uh, some of the songs from the bands you guys cover. We're talking like Bonham, Cinderella, Europe, Dokken, Great White, uh, Judas Priest, of course, Night Ranger. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Poison, Rat, Scorpion, Skid Row, Slaughter, Tesla, uh, Warrant, White Snake, Winger. I mean, White Lion. These are these are bands I haven't heard of and from in a long, long time. Well, and the children are crying right now, Daryl. You refer to them wow. as a cover band. I'm, wow. I'm offended for them because this this is a tribute band. Yeah. Yeah. Did, you see, oh. did you see what he did there too with the White Lion and the children? Are yeah, cr- the yeah. children cry. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was very nice. <laughs> when the children cry. Epic. I'm sorry, my mistake. A tribute band. Well, let's just let's just make sure we got the proper. Yeah, respect Jeff. Here. Thank I'm you sorry. for correcting I mean, me on I'm, that because it I is true. We, we don't want to offend our guests. They they seem know. to be uh, the, fairly offensive. Uh, yes, yes. Offen- yeah. offensive. He could call us a super sexy <laughs> tribute band. That'd be that'd be mine. Uh, Jeff, are you comfortable with that? <laughs> I I think that super and sexy both would work. Super um, sexy. Tribute band. Totally. Okay, yeah. very good then. All right, we're on the same page then. I just I, I want to make sure we're all good here. So you so. were thinking we're a sexy two then? Um, a sex see? mute band. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sex mute man. Very good. Okay, now um, when when people come out to your shows, this is this is what because we have not seen you live yet, and that's that's our misfortune, obviously. This and, Friday. Uh, so yeah, tell us where you guys you're playing this Friday. Where? Big Daddy's place in Woodenville. And when people flock out to see you guys and all of your sexiness, what can we expect to see from your show? Mikey's junk. <laughs> Pretty much what you got right in front of you right yeah, now. Yeah, that's embarrassing, folks, dude. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> it's pointing right at me. I'm usually wearing a guitar. <laughs> Is my junk on straight? Yeah. <laughs> but now, when, people, co- when people come today. out to the show... It's what, a big... All, all kidding aside, though, is that real? <laughs> That's not a sock, is it? It's, it's an armadillo. <laughs> it's uh, an armadillo. <laughs> it's a big epic rock experience, is what it really is. I mean, not my junk. I mean, the show. Yeah, <laughs> well, no, well, both really. They could yeah. be. I don't know. Uh, he likes to think that way. But, you <laughs> so know, it's I mean, a big epic experience. Yeah, you know. I mean, you, know, you guys have like pyrotechnic. You guys have like the fog. No, we're not they won't let any... us blow shit up. Yeah, dude. Something about you know that great white thing that happened has <laughs> got oh, people a little that really, edgy yeah. about uh, pyrotechnics. Bummed it out for a lot of people. Yeah, but you know, I mean. Aside from that, we light ourselves on fire maybe a few times, but uh, uh, it's funny know. when I light Mikey on fire. Yeah, yeah, because you know, us. listening, yeah, was, coming out of, so com- you know, when we were listening to Home Sweet Home, I felt like we should have all been flicking our oh, big totally. lighters. Oh yeah, you know, that's we, the feeling that we're going for. So that's do people? Uh, do, do they now flip open their phones? Oh, dude, do. iPhone yeah. has an app for that. iPhone has an app for that. I, I've seen it. It has I've, a little flame on it. Dude, seriously, yeah. like it's like a it's like a, a Zippo with a with a oh, flame. Yeah. Oh. I've seen several people with that during our shows. No shit, man. It's so good. <laughs> yeah. I'm, gonna have, I'm gonna have to download that one for sure. All right, well, let's listen to another song from Platinum Spandex, the uh, super sexy tribute band. Oh, yeah. This is titled "Welcome to the Jungle." <laughs> The transition there is still, you know. It's awesome. I like it. <laughs> 